It's like pink lavender. Pink lavender. Very good. And as you look at this light, are you within the light? Or are you just observing it from far away? What do you feel? I think it's just it's just coming all around me. It's coming all around you. Very good. And the more you talk, the more I'll be able to assist you. So tell me what it feels like to have this pink lavender light go all around you. It feels good. It feels good. Very good. So I'd like for you to just enjoy the feeling of it wrapping around you. And as you experience this, let's find out what you're like in this pink light. Do you have any type of a body in this pink light, pink lavender light? I don't see a body. You don't see a body, okay. So I want you to just feel what it is that the observer is. Do you feel that you are part of this light? Or are you separate from this light? Always trust your first impression. don't want you to think about it. I want you to just know. Are you part of this light? I think I am. All right, very good. So if you are light, what, is, what are the qualities of this light? What does this light do? It's moving all around. Moving all around. Mm -hmm. I see a speck of one speck of white light. Mm -hmm. Does this speck move? It, it comes and goes. All right, so it's like pulsing? Or is it coming towards you? comes towards me. Mm -hmm. And when it comes towards it gets brighter. It gets brighter. So I'd like for you to just allow this light to come towards you. Invite it. In your energy, your spirit, you are able to communicate simply by using your mind. Communicate with this light and ask it, what is the light? So this, this colors. These colors. Mm -hmm. What colors are you seeing now? It's still yellow and lavender. Yellow and lavender. And they're going in and out. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to help you even more. I'm going to count from five to one. With each number, I want you to now go to a different memory. One that you can understand where it is that you are. Take a deep breath now. Five. Going back to another memory. Four. Something that impacted the lifetime of Lisa. Three. Allow the images to come now. Two. Almost there. And one. Be there now. This memory, are you indoors or outdoors? I feel like I'm out in space. I'm out in space, okay. So I don't want you to use your vision. I want you to use your knowing, your feeling. Almost as if you had no eyes and you just knew. Knew through feeling. And I want you to just feel your way through space 
And I want you to tell me, do you feel that you are stationary or moving through space? Feel it. Moving. Moving. Very good. Are you moving slowly or are you moving quickly? Slow. Slow. Mm -hmm. And as you move through space, are you moving in any particular direction? Or are you just kind of floating there? Floating. Floating. All right. So I'd like for you just to focus on that floating. How does it feel to float through space? Is it comfortable? Is it any? Yes, it's comfortable. It's very comfortable. Very good. So now that we know that you're floating through space, let's find out if you are physical or you are just energy. So I'd like for you to focus on what it is that's floating through space. Does you have, do you have some sort of a body there? It could be any type of body. Does it feel physical? Just trust your impression. What does it feel like? Do you feel like you're light or you're dense? Use your knowing. I kinda... Trust your impression. I don't want you to think. I want you to just know. Say the first thing that pops into your mind. Some kind of bug. Some side of bug. Mm -hmm. Like a... What's the first bug that comes to your mind? What do you feel like? I see the body I, like a... Has wings. Has wings. Uh, the body looks like... Kind of like a moth, like up a under, um, the, up under the what he looks like up under his wings. Or something. Mm -hmm. Looks like a like moth. A, like, oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know why I see that. It may, it may not be something that you have seen before. Look down. Do you have feet? Look down at your feet. Do you have any feet? Skinny legs. Skinny legs. Mm -hmm. and skinny feet. Skinny feet. What do the feet look like? Like black sticks. Black sticks. Mm -hmm. Do you have arms? I don't see any arms. Mm -hmm. But you have wings. Yeah. Mm hmm. What color are these wings? They're like a brown and like mm -hmm. a tan and brown. Mm hmm. They're Take, big. They're big wings. Mm hmm. Take a look at your face. Do you have a face? Kind of look like a wolf's face. What kind of face? It's shaped like a wolf's. Like a moth? A wolf's. A wolf's. Like a triangle. Like, like a triangle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like that. A triangle face. Mm hmm. What do the eyes look like? Are they big or small? They're, they're kind of big. Mm hmm. Do you feel that you have a gender, male or female? I 
I feel like I'm the the male male waltz or whatever this thing is. Mm -hmm. it's just, so it's like a face of a wasp. Mm -hmm. Okay. So where is it that you're going? I'm just flying. You're just flying through space? Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the trip a little faster. I'm going to go ahead and count from one to three moving forward to see the destination of where it is that you're going today. So take a deep breath in now. One. Moving forward through time and space to the destination. Two. Almost there now. And three. Be there now. Where are you? Are you still in space? Yeah, but... What's around I you? I see... It's like a building. A building? And it's... Like where you can go in. Mm-hmm. And they... It's kind of like round on the top. And it's... You can go in there. It's like... Well, I can go. Mm -hmm. What are the what is the structure made out of? It's it's like aluminum coming around. Aluminum. Uh, mm -hmm. And the top is like I see a, a round. I see an opening, but I don't mm -hmm. know what. Mm -hmm. Is the top also aluminum? The round part. Yeah, it's all the same color. How do you get inside of this building? It's an opening. It's on. It's an opening. It's opening. Okay. It's like two walls. The top is round, and you can just walk down, fly down in it, or walk down in it. Okay. So I'd like for you to see yourself going into this building now. Acclimate yourself completely into this body looking out through those eyes, using the senses of this body, connecting with your surroundings. And as you go into this structure, tell me what it is that you see. What do you sense that's inside this building? I see a chair and a table with, with buttons. It might be with buttons. Is anybody there with you? No. Mm -hmm. What is the purpose of this furniture there? I think I I sit there and I operate something. You operate something? Is this where you work? You'll just know. All right. I, I, I go places. This, this is, I think I go places in it. Uh, I work here. Okay. Is this building a vehicle? It can move. It can move. Okay. So let's go deeper and deeper into the knowing of what you do in this place. I'd like for you now to see yourself doing what it is that you do in this place. What is it that you do? Tell me everything that you're experiencing. I'm just sitting there. I'm just sitting there mashing buttons. You're mashing buttons? Mm-hmm. And the front of it is uh, like a glass you can see out of it. Mm-hmm. But, 
What do you see out of that glass? I just see darkness and space. Mm -hmm. Keep going deeper and deeper into the knowing of what these buttons are for. What is the purpose? Controlling something. You're controlling something. You'll understand what it is that you're controlling. Begin to see the results of you mashing these buttons to see what it is that you're doing. The mind comes to mind. What is it? The mind. The mind? I don't know why that could just... Mm -hmm. I don't want you to question it, I just want you to know it. Is it controlling the mind in a certain way? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whose mind is it controlling? It controls the people. Where are these people that this is being controlled? Who are these people? Space is very big. Earth. Earth. Mm -hmm. How is it that this control is affecting the people? They do what we want. Mm, they do what we want. Tell me who it is that you are. That you can control the people. Reptilian. Reptilian. Tell me more. They go. What is it? They move in people. Mm -hmm. They go in. Move and do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? What is the purpose of controlling the people? What do they get from it? Power. Power. Mm -hmm. What do they do with that power? Makes them feel big. Now, in order for someone to take power from someone else, it must be that the humans have a lot of power. Is that so? What is the reason why the reptilians have targeted the humans to take their power? What's special about the power of humans? They want what they have. Ah, what is it that the reptilians are lacking that the humans have?
What's special about the humans that the reptilian want? Their light. What is it? Their light. Their light. And the reptilians don't have any light? Not that light. Not that light. So what's important about the reptilians wanting this light? What does that light do for them? Make them feel huge. Make them feel huge, ah. Because the humans are huge themselves, is that it? Yes. Yes. Why is it that the reptilians can't get their light directly from source? to make them huge. Devious. They're devious, okay. I see. So they're actually getting power from someone that is not devious to be used for something else? Yeah. What do they use this power for? I want to know more about this power. I want you to tell me what the reptilians do with this power. It grows them. Mm -hmm. them more. It grows them more. As big as the humans? Yeah. Mm hmm. So they're just feeling inferior to the humans, is that it? Inferior to their power? That's why they need more? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it seems that's what happens with all bullies. Sometimes what we think as a powerful bully is actually someone who feels very insecure in their own power and they need to act like bullies and diminish someone else's self-esteem and confidence to make them feel better. Is that the, what, what the reptilians are doing? Yeah. Mm. So how is it that this is affecting the lifetime of Lisa? How is Lisa connected to all of this wasp person and this wasp being and the reptilians? How is she connected? I want you to go ahead and connect the dots. Control. Control. Are they controlling Lisa? Caramel. What is it? What is it? Control. Control. She care about what people she people care, think. She, she cares about what people think. Mm hmm. Will think. What would they would think? Okay. So how is that affecting her? Hold, holding her back. It's holding her back. Mm hmm. And in this holding her back, is that where the control is? 
Is that the fear that is being used to control her? What is it? Yes. Yes, very good. Now, who is it that I am speaking with? Who's giving me this information? Is this the wasp being? Or someone connected to Lisa? Who's giving me this information for her? What is it? Peter. Peter. Mm -hmm. Who is Peter? Okay, Peter. I'm going to go ahead and tap her forehead, her third eye. And I want you to go ahead and remove the ego. Keep the ego aside so that you can speak clearly and make your point known. Go ahead. Move that ego aside, Peter. Who are you? How do you know, Lisa? Are you a guide? Are you a friend? How do you know so much information about the reptilians and their control? You can speak through Lisa. I want to... What is it? I'm one of them. Ah, you're one of them. Are you one of the reptilians? Or the wasp men? Reptilian. Reptilian. So, Peter, how is it that you have come forth today to speak through her? What message did you want to give me today? Are you also one that wants control? Yes. Why is it, Peter, that you feel that you need to have control? What are you lacking? Power. Power. Hmm? Power. And so are you somehow controlling Lisa? Are you taking her power? Sometimes. Sometimes. How is it that you do that? How do you take her power? Cause her to hurt. Cause her to hurt? What kind of things hurt?
but things hurt. Her body? Her mind? Her body. Her body. So what parts of her body are you making hurt right now? How is she feeling your presence? Her thighs. Her thighs. Why are you hurting her thighs? She says they're kind of feeling numb. Squeezes. Squeezes. Mm-hmm. Why are you squeezing? Stick them. You stick them together? Or you just put little st pinches? Stick. Pinches. Okay. You need to squeeze. Okay, you need to get her attention, don't you? Peter, it seems to me that what you need is attention. Have you ever had a human body before, Peter? Think back. Look at the last time that you lived in a body. What was it? Was it human? Was it reptilian? Was it a different species? What was it? Was it a wasp? I it was a man. A man? Mm-hmm. Human body. A human body. And was this human body named Peter? Hmm. How old were you, Peter, when you lost your body in in the last incarnation? Thirty four. Thirty four. And what year was that, Peter? What? What year was that? 1876. 1876. So what happened, Peter? When you lost that body, was it an accident? What happened to your legs? How did that body die? See it now, Peter. How did that body die? Was it an accident? You seem very young. What happened? It's important for you to remember, Peter. Like a tank. Like a what? Like a, a bomb. A, a like bomb. A war. Like a, what they shoot the bomb. Mm. Ball, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Cannon. Something. A cannon. Were you hit by that? I think. I think my legs were blown off. The legs were blown off. I don't. I don't know. Mm hmm. So, Peter, what happened after you left that body? Where did you go? Did you go back home to the light? No. No. How did you find Lisa? How 
How did you find her? Was she an adult or a little girl? I think she was little. Mm -hmm. I think she was three. And what happened at that time that made her so vulnerable that you can attach to her legs? She was innocent. She was innocent. She was playing, playing in the dirt. Mm -hmm. so, Out of step. Mm -hmm. So how is it that she, she became so open for you to attach to her? Did she call for you? Did she invite you? She was just by herself. By herself. She, she was just by herself playing. Mm -hmm. And she was just innocent. Yes. So what happened, Peter, once you attached to her? How did that affect her? What have you been doing to her all this time? Making her feet hurt. Making her feet hurt? Mm hmm. What else? Huh. Do you affect any other part of her body? Sometimes she, her, her breast. Her breast? She, shooting pain. Shooting pains in the breast? Mm hmm. Did you get hurt in your chest, Peter? With that kind of? Yeah. Mm hmm. What else? Is that all or more? Is that all? One time, her arms hurt. Her arms hurt. Mm -hmm. Peter, that was a miserable way to die, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you felt powerless when that happened. But you see, Peter, once we lose our body, our soul needs to evolve even more. And the only way to evolve is go back to our source, back to God, back to where we come from. So we can meet with our guides once again. We could plan out how things should be in order for us to progress. Why is it that you didn't go home? Were you confused, Peter? Didn't want to. Didn't want to. But instead, you've been here through many, many years of just miserable existence, not being able to move forward in life. Telling Lisa you were a reptilian. What kind of story is that? It seems to me you're lacking what you need the most, which is love. Love for yourself and love for others. Would you like to feel that love now, Peter? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You had it all along in your own heart. There's a spark of light there. This is the God spark. This is the spark that created you and has never been separate from you. 
I want you to find that spark and tell me when you see it. Tell me when you see that light, Peter. All right. Now I want you to make that spark bigger. I want you to make it big so you can feel what comes from that. How does that light feel? Good. Mm -hmm. So we want you to make yourself feel better today. I want you to make that light as big as you can. Make it as big as the sun, if you'd like. But I want you to feel the full force of unconditional love from God. Mm. How does that feel? I feel good. feel good. And within that love, you can feel that power that you were looking for. Peter, do you realize that all of this time you could have gone home, could have felt better? Can you forgive yourself, Peter, for not knowing any better? Yes. Yes. What would you like to say to Lisa after making her carry you all of this time? Forgive me. Mm-hmm. Take a deep breath in, Lisa. Can you forgive Peter for not knowing that he had this light with him on all the time? I forgive you. Mm-hmm. And forgiving doesn't mean he did a good thing, did he? It just means that you don't need to carry that any longer. So now, Peter, I want you to go ahead and go back in time to that moment when your entire body was blown up by that cannon. And I'd like for you to use that light now to put your body together. I want you to heal your own body. Find your legs, find all of the pieces of your body. And I want you to go ahead and build your body up once again using that light. And tell me how it feels to have your body intact once again. Feels good. Feels good, very good. So are you ready now to follow that light and go back home? Yes. All right. But first we need to detach you from her body. Lisa, I want you to go inside of your body and find every place where Peter has connected himself. It may look like a web, it may look like cables, and I want you to pull as if it were you were pulling weeds from a garden. Pull them out of your body. And I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to come by, and you can give him all of that that you've pulled out. Pull it out of Peter, pull it out of yourself, and hand all of that to Archangel Michael. He's going to dissolve it for you. And tell me when you're done. Don't leave any connection to Peter. Very good. So now, I'd like to call the angels of the white light to step forward and surround Peter and give him a message. Peter, what do the angels tell you? Love you. Mm, isn't that beautiful, Peter, to hear that? That you are loved. So I'd like to ask Archangel Michael to take Peter by the hand and take him directly to the light, back to source, back to God. And Peter, I'd like for you to tell me when you get there and let me know if anybody's there to greet you back home. Who's there? Yes. 
Has anybody lots of people? Lots of people. How do you feel with all those people welcoming you home? Feels good. Feels good. They're happy. They're happy to see you back. Sure. Good. Peter, may the love and the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much for letting me know you were here. Go in peace now, Peter. Thank you very much. And now, detach from any remnants from Peter, and I'd like to ask Archangel Raphael to step forward and begin putting through her feet his beautiful healing green light. It's like a soothing balsam ointment that goes through the entire body and wherever Peter was attached, allow that green light to saturate that area, disconnecting and filling in with that light. Very good. Tell me when he's done. Very good. And now that that's taken care of, let's take a look at the rest of the body. I'd like for you to go ahead and imagine this beautiful light, almost like an MRI or a scanner going through the body. This is a spiritual light that you're using. And I want you to scan for any anything that shouldn't be there. Your light should be bright white coming from your body. And if there's any shadows, any movements, any pinching, let me know. And we'll locate that energy. What do you find? Is it clear? Or is there anything there? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and touch Lisa's shoulder. When I do, Lisa will open her eyes. And then... When you come back, you'll go deeper than you are now. Eyes open. Beautiful. And continue that scan of your body. And as that scan is done, I'd like for you to center. Focus in and see if there's anything in that body that is calling for attention. What do we see? Is it clear? What jumps out? Heart. The heart, very good. So I'd like for you to go ahead and focus on that heart and tell me. What do you see around the heart? Does it have any particular color or texture or anything that seems unusual around the heart? What do you feel? Is it something? that is created by Lisa, this thing in the heart? Or is it something separate from Lisa? Did she create it or is it attached to her? Attached. Attached. All right. So cords. What are, cords. Cords. Okay. So these are cords that are attached to her? Mm hmm So I'd like for you to go ahead and begin to follow one of those cords. I want you to imagine yourself riding that cord and following the end of it. And perhaps at the end you will see a person's face. You will see a thing, you will see a place. What is it that's attached to the end of one of these cords? Mm -hmm. 
What's there? Keep following it. A black box. A black box, okay. So where is this black box? Is it inside of something? Is it in a room or just standalone? Attached to some kind of wall. The black box is attached to the wall? It's almost like the core looks like it goes into a socket or something. Mm-hmm. Okay. Black socket is a black socket. So I want you to use yourself. I want you to allow yourself to just be energy, and you'll understand what kind of attachment that is to the wall. What is that black box getting from that wall? Is it? What is that? Electricity. Electricity, okay. Comes to mind. So the black box is something that needs to be plugged in in order to operate, to connect to your heart, is that it? I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does this black box have an opening? I have an opening. Look all around it. It looks like it fits into a wall or something. All right. So let's identify what this black box is. Box is. I want you to just know it. What is the purpose of the black box? Is this black box giving Lisa something or or taking from Lisa? You'll know. Is it giving her something or taking from her? Energy. Energy. Mm-hmm. In which direction is the energy flowing? Out. Out. Coming. Coming into the... Like it's coming out from that wall. Mm-hmm. Into the black, to the cords. Mm-hmm. And what happens within this black box? Strikes. It strikes. Like it strikes. Charges. Charges or something. Mm hmm. So let's follow and see what happens as that is connected to her heart. What does it do to her heart? It, it makes it sometimes. It makes it hurt. It makes it hurt. Mm hmm. So who has put that block box there to make her heart hurt? I'm going to count from one to three. When I get the number three, I'm going to tap that forehead, open up that third eye, and you will see who put that 
black box there. One, two, and three. Be there now. See it. Why was that box put there? Who put it there? See it being done. I see that big giant wasp again. Mm-hmm. Giant wasp again. And doing something, putting putting some fooling with the box. Mm-hmm. Controlling. It's controlling it. All right. Well, we know that this is a free will planet. And we want to find out when that box was placed there. So I'm going to count from five to one. I want you to go back to the time when that wasp put that black box into this heart. Taking a deep breath in now. Five. Going back, back, back in time. Four. To when the wasp put that black box into her heart. Three. Beginning to see. Connect the dots. Understand. Two and one. Be there now. Be there now. Why did this happen? Where are you? Are you indoors or outdoors? I'm in somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's it's a table. It's a table. Mm -hmm. And it's, n it's just blank walls. Mm -hmm. And how old are you there? Thirty comes by. Mm -hmm. Who's with you? No, just just you. Just, just me. Somebody. Big. Some big thing standing, standing over me. Mm-hmm. What is this big thing? Describe it for me. It's big. Big legs, big bug. Mm -hmm. Bug legs. Bug big, legs? Not little legs, big, big legs. Mm -hmm. What do the arms look like? Does it have arms? It doesn't have arms, it has those antennas. Antennas, mm hmm. Does it have a face? As the big eyes on the side. Mm hmm. What does it remind you of? A giant tall book mm -hmm. standing on two feet. Does this bug have any instruments or anything? No. So what is I it? I don't see anything. So why are you there? They don't. He's doing, he's getting ready to do something to me. Mm-hmm. 
put some in me. For what purpose? I want you to connect to the mind of this being and ask it, what is it putting inside of you? Wiring. Wiring. What is the purpose of this wiring? Control me. To control you. Have you agreed to have this inside your body? No. No. So what is this wiring and control going to do? How is it going to control you? Go ahead and ask. Oh, go where they want me to go. Okay. For what purpose? Check the people. To do what? To watch and check the people. To check the people. Ah, okay. So they're using you to do their, their, their eyes and their ears of the people. Is that it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want you to ask this being if, if it understands that you are on Earth, which is a free will planet. Go ahead and ask. Yeah. Uh huh. Have you given permission to this being no. to be used? No. No. Does this being know that you have not given permission? No. Okay. So, are you going to allow this being to continue to use you for surveillance of the people? No. All right. So I'd like for you to use all of the power that you have within you, all of the confidence, all of the knowing, that you are a divine being, that you are a powerful being, that you have come here on this earth with free will. I'd like for you to bring up from within all of that power. And I want you to tell this being with your mind very strongly what you think about what he's doing to you. like this. Mm -hmm. You're not welcome here. So now that you've stated what you don't want, I want you to state what you do want from this being. What do you want this being to do now? Remove all of it. All right. Go ahead and now, com command it. I command you to move it all now. Release me from this. Tell me what happens. He's unhooking things. Mm -hmm. Tell me everything. He's unhooking it all. Good. Now, within you, can you forgive this being for not knowing, for not understanding how powerful you truly are? Yes. Mm -hmm. So with this forgiveness, I want you to send love to this being, because this is something that this being does not understand. This is a, something that they want, that they never understand. 
And tell me what happens when you send this being love. What does that power of love do? They say sorry. Mm -hmm. He didn't know. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I'd like for you to ask him if he has been doing this with other humans. Yes. Yes. So I'd like for him to connect with those, those other humans, with their subconscious mind, and ask those humans now if they gave him permission to put all of that surveillance in them. No. No. Can he see that he has done something to break the law on Earth? Yeah. What's he going to do about it? He's taking it back. He's pulling. Very good. He's pulling cords everywhere. Mm-hmm. They come in. It's like like a a cord that ejects. Mm-hmm. It's just coming back into him. Mm-hmm. How does that look? How does that feel? It feels good. It feels good. Very good. Take back your power. And I'd like for you to thank that wasp man for appearing here today, for connecting, so that his soul can progress and evolve in a much better way. And when you're ready, I'd like for you to go ahead and detach completely from this wasp man. And I'd like for you to look at your heart and tell me what your heart looks like now. Looks good. Very good. Very good. So let's continue through the body now. See if there's anything else in the body that needs attention today. My throat. The throat. All right, let's find out what's in that throat. Is it something that was created by Lisa or something attached to Lisa? What is that? What's in that throat? I want you to make yourself really tiny, tiny, tiny and find a way into your throat and take a look and see what's there. What's attached to it? What do you envision? What kind of energy is on that throat? Is it something that she created to attach to it? Or is it from the outside attached? Does it seem part of her body or foreign? This, this 
seem like it's something. Trust your first impression. Always speak the first thing that comes up. Something on the right side. Something on the right side. Mm-hmm. It's like a block. Like a block, all right. What color is this block? It's black. Black, mm-hmm. If you could think of a texture, what would this block feel like? It's hard. It's hard. Mm-hmm. So is this block similar to the one that was put into the heart? Or something different? Different. Different. Okay. Let's find out a little bit about that block and when it is that it came to be in her throat. What I'm going to ask you to do is go back to the origin of when that block was placed on that throat. So I'm going to count from five back to one. With each number, you'll be going back in time to the moment in which that block was created in that throat. Begin now, five, going through time and space to find the origin of that block. Four, going back even further, the origin of that block. Three, gaining access to that information now. Two, allowing the images and the information to come forth. And one, be there now. The origin of this block. Are you indoors or outdoors? What's happening there? Where are you? Say the first thing that pops up. It's almost like I see somebody putting some down in my throat. Mm -hmm. It's a man. It's a man, okay. Take a look at that man. He has a coat on. He has like a coat. Like a doctor's coat. A doctor's coat. Mm-hmm. Keep going. What does his face look like? It's, it's light. Light face. Mm-hmm. Short hair. Short hair. Is he young? Is he old? Thirties. Mm-hmm. A blue coat. A blue coat. Is this man working on your throat? He put some down my throat. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Take a look at your body. 28. 28. Mm-hmm. Find out who this man is. You'll be able to connect with his mind telepathically. You'll understand mm. who he is. Who is this man? Is he a doctor? Scientist. A scientist. Mm hmm. And how is it that you came about to be in front of this man to put something down your throat? How did you get there? I 
was next. I was next. You were next? Yeah. What does that mean? We, we, I'm in a hallway and was waiting to be next. Mm -hmm. Who was in the hallway with you? People. Mm -hmm. Some more people. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm at a I go in. I'm at a table. Mm -hmm. A chair like that leans back. Mm -hmm. And I'd like for you to just see this facility as if you were seeing it from above. What is this place where you are? Where is the scientist working? Like a clinic. Mm -hmm. A building is... But when you go in there, it doesn't look like a doctor's office. It looks like a an old room. An old room? Mm hmm With a chair in it and shelves and books. Mm hmm Take a look at your body. What do you look like there? And just light, light body. A light. body is just one color, just light. Mm -hmm. Does it have any clothing? No, it's mm -hmm. just, just light mm -hmm. shaped body. Okay. So I'd like for you to connect with this scientist, with his mind. And I'd like for you to ask him, what he's putting in your throat. What is that block? A lock. A lock. Mm-hmm. What is that lock intended for? What is he locking? Connect with his mind, you'll know. He cannot keep any secrets from you. You can connect right with his mind. From speaking. From speaking. Mm-hmm. What is it that you know that he doesn't want you to speak? Why is he keeping you from speaking? The truth. The truth. Hmm. How is it that you know the truth? I just know, mm -hmm. I know what he's doing. You know what he's doing? He knows I know. Mm -hmm. Have you given him permission? No. No. Oh, well, you know what that means. You have the power to say no. No, I don't, I don't want this. You tell him, I will speak my truth. I will speak my truth.
You can't stop me. So now that you've stated what you don't want, you don't want him to stop you, right? Right. What do you want him to do now? To remove this block, mm -hmm. lock from me. Tell him. My throat. He's taking it out. Mm -hmm. It's out. Good. So now that it's out, I want you to feel that full power coming back to you. And I want you to look at those people in line. Would you like to tell them what they're doing there? Would you yeah. like to finally speak your truth and tell the yeah. others? He's trying to keep you from speaking your truth. How do they react? They're just looking at shock. Mm -hmm. I tell them, leave, get out. Remind them of how powerful they truly are. You're all powerful beings. You have a choice. Speak your truth. And now that you are a light body, I'd like for you to expand your body to the true size that you really are. Allow yourself to now expand beyond the confines. Mm -hmm. And tell me what you look like, your true essence. How big? More big. Mm -hmm. Big ball of light. Mm -hmm. Just going, going, going. Mm -hmm. And now you can understand that you have been playing it small. You have been allowed, mm -hmm. allowing those to confine you. So I'd like for you to use now that power, that ball of light that you are, to heal this body, to send light to that area that was, was locked before and no longer is locked. Fill that body with light and you can use any color you wish. What color mm. would you like to use? Green. Green, beautiful. So allow that green light to heal. And in this power that you have, you can access all of the information of any lifetime. You are just pure energy. So I'd like for you to tell me today, what is the purpose of this incarnation as this entity of Lisa? What have you come here to do? What is Lisa meant to do in this lifetime? To give love. To give love. Mm hmm. Is she doing that now? Yes. Mm hmm And I know that she is very, very big, this big ball of light. What kind of spiritual gifts does she bring into this incarnation? She sees things. She sees things. But she tells me that her third eye is not open. Is that not true? It's open. It's open. Okay. What is it that she th tells me that she hasn't heard her higher self? She wants to be able to hear her higher self. She wants to be able to see her guardian angels. She wants to know who they are. 
Can you help her with that? Who are her guardian angels? Raphael. What is it? Raphael? Mm -hmm. I'm with you. I'm with you. Very good. So in the future, when she leaves here today and she's wondering if her higher self is speaking with her, what do you have to tell her? Always. Always. Okay, good. Now it seems to me that she has a lot of dreams where she's in space. Has Lisa had a previous life on Earth before? Why is it that she did not see that today? She doesn't need to. She doesn't need to. But she said she did see herself in space. She's wondering if she's ever been taken on a spaceship. She hasn't. She has not? She That's what comes to mind. She has not. She has not. Okay. What about in her dreams? Does she travel in her dreams? Yes. Okay. Now, one time she said that she saw three little black things stacked on top of each other, peeking and laughing at her. What were those things? E.T.'s. E.T.'s. Mm-hmm. So what connection does she have with E.T.'s? She was, she was one of them. She was one of them. Where is she from? Galactica. What is it? Galactica. Some, uh, Galactica? Ca, some Galactica. Galactica. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Is this where she's from, her star family? These little ones that were giggling at her? Yeah. Family. Her family, good. If they're just playing with her. They're it's just fun. playing with her. Did anybody play with her the other day when they rubbed her arm? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was, it was, yeah, it was a being. It was a bee? A being. A being, okay. So we know that the subconscious mind never sleeps. It's always awake even though the body may be sleeping. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that third eye. And I want you to go ahead and detach yourself from that body sleeping so that you can see who that being was. See it now. What is that being? See the shape? See the form of it? You can see it from above or on the side? It's just a, a shape of a cigar light. A it's cigar light. light. Mm hmm. Yeah. Who is this being? You'll understand who it is. Star people. Star people. Mm hmm. What is it that Lisa has to do with these star people? Gather, gather, gather. Mm hmm. What are they gathering? Are they gathering people? Are they gathering information? What are they gathering? These cigar shaped beings. The light. The light. There's lots of holding light. Mm hmm. Are they doing anything to harm the people when they touch them? No. No. What do they do when they touch the person? Charges. Charges, okay. She's, she's, she was getting a charge? Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you so much. And now that we know that she's being charged, what can she do herself 
to feed her body to where it's wor it's working at optimal energy. What can she eat? Vegetables. Mm-hmm. More vegetables. More vegetables. What about meat? What happens to her body when she eats meat? Clogs. It clogs it. Clogs her body or her energy? Energy. Energy. So she needs that energy to flow freely with those vegetables? Yeah. Okay, good. Now I have a question about abundance in her life. Abundance of love, money, happiness, freedom. What would you like to tell her about that? How can she get more abundance? Believe. Believe. Mm -hmm. Trust. Okay. And now that we've asked all the questions that Lisa came here with, I'd like to ask, why is it that you brought Lisa here? What did you need to tell her? I love you. Very good. Is there anything else you would like to tell Lisa? Are we complete today? Keep doing what you're doing. <sighs> Welcome back. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel light. Mm. Mm. How long do you think you were in on this journey? How did it feel to you? About an hour. Mm. We're in about an hour and 53 minutes right now. Mm. <laughs> Interesting, huh? Yeah, it was. Peter. Peter, yeah. A wasp. A wasp man, huh? Pretty interesting. How does your throat feel? It feels light. It was something in my throat, a plum black. Mm hmm. In your heart? Feels good. <laughs> Unbelievable, huh? Yeah. Pretty wild. Yeah. Is this something you want to share or you want to keep private? Is it something that helps someone? That's up to you. Do you remember it? I mean, I remember about the walls. If it's something that you don't, you know. We can share it. I don't mind. If it'll help somebody, I don't mind sharing. That's how you came to me. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, how do you feel? I feel great. I feel light. <laughs> I feel relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. How did you come in feeling? I came in, I was a little nervous because I had never been, um, had hypnosis before, so yes. I was a little nervous. But I, I relaxed and I feel great. Tense. I was tense. I'm just relaxed and just feel yeah. good all over now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you feel you were hypnotized? I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did you feel different about it? It just, it just felt, I don't know, my, when you asked me about my eyes, I mean, I really tried to open my eyes and I really couldn't open the eye, my eyes up. Mm -hmm. So it just, it just was just a relaxing feeling. It just feels good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why is somebody knocking on somebody, the door? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so is this something that you would recommend to other people? I would. Yeah? I think everybody should experience this, everyone. Good. Well, mm -hmm. you know, um, everybody's different. Everybody's unique. And this this one was a little interesting. It was about the wasp man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, do you actually feel that you you were empowered enough to to make this wasp man um, do what 
what he did? I, I do. Yeah. I do. And, and this is what happens in most of these sessions is we don't think we have the power. We just have to ask. That's right. And I didn't, I, it's something you couldn't make up. Now, why would I, if, why could I be, why would I have to be a Walsh person? So it's something you can't make up. It just, it was just strange. That's what came to mind. Yeah. So it was just, I don't know, just strange. But I feel great. I'm glad I did it. I'll do it again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And uh, if you would like a session with me, all you have to do is go to my website, albawyman.com, click on the hypnosis tab, go down and subscribe to the newsletter. The only way to get a session is by use, going to the newsletter. Okay. It comes out about once a month. And um, once you click on the links, a calendar will come up. And that's where you'll know where the sessions will be and if there's an appointment. And you, did the same thing. I did. I yeah. did. I did. Yeah. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was a little slow, but that's how it is. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that.